floor of the girls' bathroom that is transitioning. As you can see, I'm starting to paint it. This is going to be replaced. That's going to be replaced. All of that is going to be replaced. That has been replaced. That has been replaced, and this has been replaced. But I am going to go in with this color. As you can see, it's a lot more of a fresh color. It goes with the tile a lot better. It's really hard to see on camera, but this has like almost a light lavender hue to it, and this is a really a, a mauve color, so it complements well. Got it in satin. So I am going to roll the rest of the walls and try to get this done um, tonight. Okay. I've been sweating so much that my hair curled. Uh, let's see if I can get a good look. There you go. The trim I have done there is different. Around this light, which is going to be hard to see. There you go. See, it's like a totally different vibe. Can you tell from this that it looks better with this tile? This tile still isn't coming across as true color. I have something to hang here, something to hang here. I have um, a lot of a lot of decorating still to do in here, but obviously painting is step one. So I will give you updates soon. I'm just going to do this all in one video, so the next thing that you see me in just a second on another day, and um, I'll show you what we're doing next. Step two. Hi everybody. So, bathroom update. Hung this. There's no outdoor window in this bathroom, so I just thought that, that would be a neat addition, like a faux window. This lighting could not be happier with it. It is so pretty. Um, let's see. Got this set. I will link everything below. This set. The lotion and soap set. This, I'm still waiting on the smaller towel to hang on this. Um, I have the other one that will match it hanging here with the cherry blossoms. The beautiful, I love this, I still need to steam, steam it, but the um, shower curtain. Everything changed out to oiled bronze, oiled bronze, you know, everything. Um, then, love the Scentsy uh, plug-in. I have in Peppermint Rush, love Peppermint Rush. This, I think I'm going to order a different one for this room, but uh, I just have this in right now. But this is, I think I'm going to use this in my bathroom and get them, they have one called bronze I really like. We switched out everything, the light plate, this, so that they weren't, they were kind of like mismatched colors, for instance, like look, and they were this color. That's the one thing, we had to get a white GFI, so that's the one thing we haven't changed yet, but we are going to. But look at this cherry blossom bonsai, which brings me to... At Pier 1 today, I got this for $3.98 rocks for this. I mean, it looks really real as soil. I mean, it's obviously not. But my daughter, um, I was talking with my daughter earlier, and I was like, do you think it would be good to, like, put rocks on there? I don't know. It just, you know. Uh, and she said she thought yes. So I'm hoping she'll like this. I'm going to fill it up now. I'll kind of... See if this makes it look a little bit more like finished and nice and neat rather than like just a bowl of dirt in the bathroom. Okay, that took that whole bag. It's a little bag, but doesn't that look so much nicer? I mean, there's even little like light pink ones. And those gone gone. Gon gons? What's a gon gon? That's the way that it looks. Oh, look, and it brings like the color of a, very nice. I like it. This is what we're I switching like out um, for the shower. And then matching the Caldwell from Lowe's. I'll link it below. This is the Moen um, faucet. We're going to replace that with. So it's really going to come together well. I got. Um, 
these, I think I showed you these before, these mats, and love the way it goes across, oh, like the whole, gone. where's your tail, go get it, it must have fallen off down in your playroom, yeah. it's, they're so, so soft, non-slip, and so, uh, this, you know, all comes together really nicely, and then the towels, you know, all completely match, so, what we have left is there's an art piece going on this wall and then their towel rack. And then I'll be back with you with a finished look at the bathroom. It has taken us, I would say, a week and a half to two weeks to completely pull together from beginning design to end. Uh, and waiting for things to be shipped and waiting for things to be installed uh, by us, you know, like waiting when we have a moment to do that. But we did all the work ourselves, uh, designed it all of our all ourselves, and uh, I, I think it looks really good, really good. So I'll be back and excitingly with the last video, I have glitter all over me from Pier One still. Uh, I'll be back excitingly with the next video, the final video of the complete transformation. So, I will see you then. Hi everyone! I know I look funny right now. I'm getting ready to go out and um, exercise. Well, take the kids for a walk. But um, I had to show you the bathroom. It's finished, it's completed, and I'm so happy to finally be able to show it to you. This to us was a full renovation on a budget. And I will list everything through links below of what we got that I can. The only thing I'm thinking that I don't have a link for is this, which happened to be in my daughter's uh, bedroom at her previous house. So here's a look. First of all, though, I wanna show you how I was inspired to do this room. I took the room, I mean, as it was, and I wanted to play off of what, what? was the thing that would be the most expensive to replace. Well, when you think about that in the bathroom, zoom out a little bit here, it would be your vanity, the cabinetry, and you know what you're working with as far as tile. That sets the color scheme and you either work with it or you make it way more obvious that you haven't. So what I did was this. I went and got paint samples and I went off of this tile. This tile is in good condition. There was no reason to replace it. Um, and so I got a paint, several paint samples. I ended up finding one that was exactly the same color. Well, the way that these work is obviously it's like monochromatic. So what I did was I took this color and I knew the most complimentary color but lightest that I could go is this. And this is what I painted the room. It's called Napa Dawn. It's by Valspar. And it is the lightest color within this family of colors. Oh. The color looks great in here. Obviously, on camera, it's going to be hard to get the true, you know, color of what it looks like. But here we go. So I am going to go to the beginning and explain. So the inspiration like I told you, was the color. Here you're getting more of a true tone of the color. See, against the white. Um, okay, so I'm going to put this down and show you. Everything that you see here, except for the hooks, like I said, I ordered online and will link below. The lighting, which might be a little hard to pick up. Let me try to zoom in. Yes, so you can see it's oiled Venetian bronze. It has a little bit of a gold tone to, um, you know, the glass covers of the light, but definitely doesn't give off a warm glow in the room. The room just lights up perfectly. I decided to go with this color for the wall, and we decided on the shower curtain, which we thought was very complimentary color-wise. So we started with one, what I would say is like a, statement piece. 
So that's the statement piece of the room. Now I didn't want everything to be super matchy matchy. So these, you know, looked like cherry blossoms. I decided to go with that as a theme and inspired. It inspired me to notice that it looked kind of like the flowers on this and I could use this as a hook system in here and repurpose that. Um, also, I like to keep this a little open. I think it makes it look welcoming. It makes the room look larger because when you look in, you can see all the way to the end wall. And so I have uh, changed this out to the oiled bronze and I put um, a two decorative tiles. These are not used, but you can see them when you're in the bathroom. They look nice and well detailed and this definitely matches the colors in the uh, shower curtain. And this shower curtain just is is gorgeous. I highly recommend it. I um, steamed it. I borrowed my neighbor's steamer and steamed it and it just came out perfect. So um, we changed out oiled Venetian bronze. Let me kind of open it from the other side so that there's more light. Um, matching, matching, and we changed those out. So that all matches. And of course, I kind of hide everything on this side with the curtain being partially open, like I said. I repurposed the bath mat. It's blue, it looks nice, and um, they just use that, you know, here every time they get out. I always have, now this is how I have this set up. Four girls share this restroom, so I always have their four towels, and then this is their hand towel. And this is like their decorative hand towels. They don't really use these, this goes with that cherry blossom set. But I always have a set when I, I do all the towels at night and then put them back. But also, I always have a towel and a washcloth here ready to go in the morning for the per first person that takes a shower. And I think it looks nice. So I'm not, I've never been the type of person that does like a toilet seat cover, but this is a bathroom that's only used by only girls. So I just figured, I don't know, I thought it would be plush and nice and they like it. And I can take this and all the rugs um, and I throw them in the washer once a week uh, as well. So uh, these I do every night, but then that I do once a week. And then I will also wash these and these like once a week, something like that. So we changed out even the toilet um, uh, flush knob here. This bathroom does not have a window. So I thought it would be neat to put something that resembled a window in the room. And I love this. It's got, you know, the ironwork look, which I thought complemented the bronze kind of the scrolling and the Florida de lis which I always love that design. So I thought that that was very complimentary. We changed that the toilet paper holder and instead of doing a, um, a uh, wet wipe container on top of the toilet like I usually do, I decided to just hang one from here. So you don't see it, see it when you're looking into the restroom, there's nothing here. It really highlights this and then doesn't add anything to distract or, you know, look juvenile, but there is, you know, wet wipes right here. Um, I got just a basic bronze trash can also from bed, this is mostly from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, the uh, hardware's from Lowe's. So, and I use these bags. I get these from Ikea with the green. I love these. I've been using these all over. Um, so anyway, these, this toilet seat cover, this is the elongated cover, the rug, and then this long runner, and all of these towels are all from the same collection. So they match perfectly, which really brings it all together. Um, Okay, so we changed this out. The faucet and the drain. It's by Moen. This move, it's wonderful. I love it. I love how all of this set has a like a copper highlight to the edging. 
Um, I got this set from Bed Bath & Beyond. It looks perfect in here. I think it's great quality. I would recommend it. I got this from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond to just bring it all together. But be decorative, but really, I left a lot of counter space here. I mean, it's you know, a pretty good amount of space for somebody to be getting ready here and somebody to be getting ready as well here. It has basically like all the colors that are in here as well, so it really brings it all together and it looks really nice. The only thing we have left to do that reminds me is change that GFI out. Simple things that you can do. We changed out the switch and the switch plates. We changed out that switch plate and then we have the white GFI to replace with that. Things like that make a huge difference. Um, the artwork behind me, this is um, also from Bed Bath & Beyond. It's like, you know, looks on a wood panel. And um, it just, it's, it's so pretty and the colors are great. I'm going to give you a full pan of the bathroom now of what it looks like, you know, from the hallway. I wanted a big, long runner because I wanted it to be as plush as possible. So this is the look. And I think it came together so nicely. I think it can grow with them well. I do have, once we switch this out, I have um, a Scentsy nightlight to go in there that's going to go really well in here, I think. I think that this will mature with them well, and I just think that it's, it's just so pretty. Um, it doesn't look you know, particularly, I mean, my youngest that shares this bathroom. Like I said, I have four girls that are sharing this restroom and, you know, from toddler up and they all love it. Next video, speaking of which, with four girls, one, two, three, four. I am going to do a video on bathroom organization. It is hard to stay organized in a bathroom when you have four kids or four people in general using a bathroom without clutter on on your counter surface and I always tell my girls it's like as long as there's no clutter your bathroom will always look nice and be easy to clean easy to clean when it's time to clean it up so um, I figured out a way to to organize this bathroom that works so well for the kids. We are all loving it. And the next video that you see for this is going to be, um, I, I have several organization videos coming up, but the first one will be this bathroom's organization just to completely complete this room. And then we're going to move on to the next one. But the next one that you'll see as far as in the organization playlist will be how I organize the kids to keep it. So the bathroom, and we've been living like this now for a week, and it has looked exactly like this every single day without any issues, and everybody's been completely satisfied with it. So if you like the way the bathroom looked, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment. I love hearing from you. I mean, you guys are so cool, like commenting as much as you do. I just, I really, it, it's just, I, I like it. Thank you. Thank you. And I, and I like to, um, have that, you know, correspondence back and forth. I hope you will enjoy these organization videos that I have coming up. Uh, the delay with the Halloween decor video, I mean, my living room's still covered in plastic. I mean, it looks like, it looks like they're getting ready to film like an episode of Dexter in there. Not even kidding. Go for so, a walk, enjoy the fresh air, and, but wanted to get this up for you because I was excited to get this completed. Also, <clears throat> In the not-so-distant future, you will be seeing puppies in my video. We ended up adopting two litter mates. They're absolutely lovies. I mean, we just, we are in love with them. They, if you would like to see a picture of them, please 
click on my Instagram um, link below and follow me on Instagram where I post more often than I post on YouTube um, for obvious reasons. It's a lot more convenient, but um, they will be in my videos. I will be doing a lot of puppy training, a lot. I mean, we're getting them very, very young at eight weeks old. So um, if you are interested in puppy videos, puppy training videos, how I plan on teaching my puppies to have manners, to be housebroken, become the little sweethearts I know they can be, let me know in the comments because there are so many videos on YouTube about puppy training. I would be doing it off of my experience, my style, which is really loosey-goosey, as, as you've probably noticed. I mean, this is not like high-tech. I don't know. I mean, some of these people have like microphones and special lights and everything. Um, I don't, but I mean, I guess that's okay, right? We're doing it. This is the way we're doing it because this is the way it has to be done. And you know how I am about my budget. So, what do you think about the bathroom? I'm like super loving it. Next, I need to do my bathroom. Of course, kids always first. Oh, the kids room is done and now it is time for mama to get some bathroom situation. So I'm going to use the same sort of mentality of using what would be the most expensive to replace and act like the whole bathroom is designed around it. It's like fake it till you make it. Right, people? So, you know, one thing I was going to suggest, I've noticed sometimes that I am like leaving. I try to comment back on everybody that asks me a question on Instagram. Am I even holding this right? On Instagram or on, you know, YouTube comments. And sometimes I miss some. If if you are interested in me doing like a Q&A, like sit down 5, 10, 15 minute like Q&A sort of video and oh, you're interested in that. What? Let me know. I'd be happy to do that. And if you are interested, let me know and then I'll make a separate video like being like saying leave your comments on this video with the questions or whatever. I don't even know how people, I guess that's the way we would do it. Um, and then we can do that. So just so that I'm sure if I haven't answered your question, this would be a good way for me to be like, okay, there it is. And I will literally like go through the list of questions and answer them and it'll be posted and then boom, you got it. Nothing personal. I just, I don't know. Sometimes it's just hard to, um, like, I get things lost in the shuffle. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've kept you a long time babbling now. So, uh, I'm trying to keep from exercising. <laughs> I'm stalling. You want to talk some more? Just joking. Okay, going to go. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Bye.